guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since you've seen my face like this. I have been struggling with my skin lately, and I've been trying to give it a bit of a rest. Normally, my skin is pretty clear. I don't really deal with too many crazy breakouts, but every now and then I do suffer from crazy, crazy cystic pimples. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you would know that due to my Halloween series, I've been dealing with that a lot the past month. In the last month, I've been playing around with a bunch of new skincare products, trying to figure out what works the best for my skin and what combinations of products help clear up any of the breakouts that I have been having. And I think I found the perfect combination. This is something that you guys have been asking for since the day my channel started. So now it's finally here my skincare routine. If you guys want to see what I've been doing and what I have been using to clear up the massive cystic acne I've had the last month, then just keep on watching. I've been pretty fortunate in my life. I've never really had consistently bad skin. Just kind of bouts of really bad breakouts. So in my 24 years, I have figured out six simple steps that I take to figure out exactly what's going on with my skin and exactly how I need to fix it. The first step that I always take is observing what is irritating my face. I take a look at my morning routine, my skincare routine, my makeup routine, and figure out if there are any new products that I've thrown in the mix, any deviations that I've had from my normal routine that might be irritating my skin. Now that's the simplest of the fixes, find what's irritating you and get rid of it. The next step is to clean everything. Wash your sheets, wash your pajamas, wash your washcloths that you use to wash your face, your hand towels, your bath towels, wash your makeup brushes, your makeup, anything that comes in contact with your face on a daily basis, wash it. This will give you a kind of clean slate to start over. You know that none of that stuff can be irritating you now. After that, take a look at your diet. Are you eating greasy foods? Are you drinking enough water? Are you getting the nutrients that your body needs to really help regenerate your cells and clean out your pores? But one of the biggest things that affects me is not getting enough sleep. When my body is tired, my face freaks out. Once I've figured out what it is that's irritating me, I can then move on to starting to find a solution. The first thing that I always do when I'm having a bad breakout is making sure to pull my hair back every day. This is for two reasons. One is because I notice that when my hair is down, I tend to touch my face a lot. One of the worst things that you can do is touch your face when you're having a breakout. Your hands are so dirty and carry so much bacteria, and when you touch your face, you just put more crap on it and adding to the bacteria buildup that's already there. The second is that your hair is actually pretty dirty. Oils and dirt and dust collect in your hair all throughout the day, even if you don't really notice it, and that goes right onto your face when your hair is constantly in it. After that, I give my face a break. No makeup, very, very simple skincare routine. Try to put as little on your face as possible. Sometimes I won't even put moisturizer or any sort of pimple cream on my face. I'll just wash it with a really, really basic face wash and let it breathe. Once your skin finally starts to calm down from all of those steps, you can start to establish a routine for yourself. You wanna find a simple routine that works for your skin and stick to it. This goes both for makeup and skincare. Your skin doesn't like change. I've noticed that in my face especially. If I use one new makeup product or one new skincare product, my face freaks out. So I try to keep everything very basic and simple. I use products that I know work well for my face and I use them consistently. I don't introduce anything new out of nowhere, and I definitely don't introduce a bunch of new things at once. When it comes to skincare, you don't need a million products to keep your skin clear. You just need a handful of things that work. I'm gonna go through now, show you guys the products that I have been using, and walk you through my morning and night routine. I also have some smaller weekly things that I throw in there every now and then that I'm gonna show you as well. My morning routine is very basic. Face wash, moisturizer, occasionally, some sort of pimple cream if I'm having a bad breakout. My skin is combination oily. 
I get very oily throughout the day, but I also get very severe dry patches, especially in the winter months. I also have fairly sensitive skin, so my skin will peel when I use salicylic acid. Knowing this beforehand alters how I use the products and what I use along with them. What I'm about to show you is the routine that I have been using for the last week, and within the first two days, I noticed a severe difference in my skin. Every morning, I would start out with a cleanser. But the cleanser that I have here is not just your average cleanser. This is part of the Neutrogena Acne Kit. It comes with a nighttime solution and also an oil-free moisturizing lotion. That's all in addition to the Acne Skin Polisher. So, like I said, I start out my mornings with the Acne Skin Polisher. This isn't really a cleanser, so it won't really get any makeup or any of that off of your face, but it will strip away any unnecessary oils and dirt that has collected over the night. This face wash is salicylic acid based, so it does irritate my skin a little bit, dries it out, so I make sure to then load up on some oil-free moisturizer that comes with the kit before I put my makeup on. This moisturizer also has SPF 15 in it, which is just great for your skin in general, helps protect it from the sun. So these two have been my favorite go-to so far out of all of the things that I have tried over the past month. That's it, plain and simple, no frills. Right after I put that moisturizer on, I move on to my normal makeup routine. Coming home at night is what kind of throws a wrench in everything. The first part of my nighttime routine is always to remove my makeup Fully. For that, I like to use a micellar water. My favorites are from Garnier. This one has been my favorite out of all of them, and it is the all-in-one mattifying. This one is for oily, sensitive skin, which is me perfectly, and I love this one with the green cap the best out of all of them that they have in the Garnier line. I use this with a microfiber cloth, and it takes off your makeup beautifully. You just have to make sure to clean those microfiber cloths frequently. Once all of my makeup is off with this guy, I then move on to using the Neutrogena cleanser again. Now this is where the fighting the acne comes in. If I'm having a really bad breakout, I will use this from Acne Free Severe, and it is called Terminator 10. Need I say any more? This is really, really strong concentrated salicylic acid, and I put this directly on spots only. I don't spread this all over my face. This goes solely on very, very bad cystic breakouts that I'm having. For more general pimple prevention, I use the Acne Control Lotion that came with the Neutrogena Kit. Even this lighter solution irritates my skin, so you want to make sure you're using this sparingly. Again, I won't put this all over my face, I'll just spread a small amount where I tend to get irritated. So I'll spread some on my cheeks, a little bit in between my eyebrows, and even a little bit on my chin. I will top all of that off again with the oil-free moisturizer that also comes in the Neutrogena kit. But there is a small exception. Like I said, I have sensitive skin that reacts poorly to salicylic acid. I get very peely and cracky if I'm using it for too long or too frequently. So something that I have found that heals all overnight, not even exaggerating, overnight, is regular Aveeno body lotion. Not face lotion, body lotion. They're normal formula. So if I'm using any of those two pimple fighting things for a long period of time, this is my go-to night lotion. That is it. Just a couple of products to keep your face in check and heal whatever breakouts you have. But it is always fun to pamper yourself a little bit. Like I said, especially in the winter, especially with that salicylic acid, my skin tends to get a little dry. So once a week and once a week maximum, I do a couple things a little extra. I swear to you, this video is not sponsored by Neutrogena. I'm not being paid to talk about any of these products. This is just what I have found works best for my skin. I use a Neutrogena facial scrub. This is the acne proofing daily scrub, and I use it with a Clarisonic face brush. This has the acne head on it, so it is a bit of a rougher brush. And when my face starts to really peel, once a week I will take this with the scrub and really make sure to 
go over those areas that are peeling and get all of that extra dead skin off of my face. And then usually on that same night, I will use a moisturizing face mask. I have two favorite kinds of face masks, one which I picked up at Ulta and the other from TJ Maxx. Again, you don't need to spend a lot of money to make your face look nice. My first favorite is from I Do Care and it is the Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask. This helps to really just brighten up my face evens out my skin tone and calms my skin down. My next favorite kind of face mask, which is not always this one, is a moisturizing sheet mask that has some sort of coconut, cucumber, or aloe in it. This one is a cucumber extract from My Beauty Spot. I got this one at TJ Maxx with a whole pack of other animal masks. This one does make me look like some sort of animal resembling a dog. Now that I've showed you all of the products that I've been using, I want to show you guys my face. So I'm going to quickly go take off my makeup and I will be right back to show you what my bare skin looks like now. And here we are. As you can tell, it is so much better. I do have one little breakout right here that is driving me insane. It just popped up this morning, but I'm sure it will be gone tomorrow using the products that I have been using. All up here was an absolute mess. My cheeks, both of my cheeks were an absolute disaster. And literally, I'm telling you guys, within two days, it was all cleared up. I still have a little bit of redness from things that are still healing over, but they're not pimples anymore. There's nothing there. It's just red scabs from picking my face like an idiot. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any more skincare questions for me, maybe about what I am using or other products that I may have tested out, let me know down in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and hit that big red subscribe button to stay up to date with when I post new videos every week. I hope you guys have a very happy, happy Thanksgiving and until next time, bye guys. See, I know nothing makes you shatter. No, no. You're a lover of the